Hello, Sunset Spectre here, and today we're playing Minecraft 1.0 a whatever again, again with the whole Jeb shenanigans. I should really look that up so I could be more informative. Anyways, um, so today what we're going to be doing, because it was suggested to me and it seems like a really, really good idea considering we have not found anything on this map, we are going to go back to that giant ocean and we're going to cross it. In order to do so though, we are going to need a boat. I've went out and already pre-chopped some wood, so you don't have to see me have any more awesome, extreme lumberjacking action, because, again, chopping wood is not the most entertaining thing ever. I'm bringing some cobblestone with me, some wood with me, some iron with me, because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find iron when I get to the other side. Some food, general tools, a lighter, because maybe I want to burn down a forest. I don't know. Anyways, let's start making our way to the coast. If I remember rightly, it's just basically straight that way. So, rather than watch me run across the landscape, I think we're just going to do a nice little thing called video editing. And fast forward right to here. We are back at the ocean. This very, very large ocean, which I cannot see across. Which is good, considering we haven't found anything on our current area, which is hysterical. So, I'm going to plop both the water. I'm not going to build a shack on this side because we're not staying here. Uh, I started out in the morning, and it is just midday, so we made good time, even though it is quite a distance. I'm now going to try to wrangle these glitchy boat controls to go in the direction that I want to go. I'm basically just going to head this way until I see land. I don't know how long this is going to take. So, if this takes forever, there'll most likely be a cut someplace in the middle. If not, then this was not a very large ocean. Hello, squid. I see you. I once again apologize for my computer's performance. We are generating new chunks, and I have yet to actually install said new processor. I've been lazy. It's sitting right next to me. I'm staring at it right now. Just I'm lazy, and I don't really want to undo an entire water cooling setup. Yeah, I know. Water cooling means my computer should be good, right? Yeah, it's not when it's built five years ago and water cooling was like the thing. Any of you know me, you can imagine me doing air quotes around when I said the thing. Because I did. Okay, so this ocean really does go on forever. There are more squid. Come on. Come on. Render new chunks. Come on. I could do the obligatory I'm on a boat song. Oh, that was an island. Little tiny island. Little tiny island with kind of land on it. Not really land, it's just sort of an island. Oh wait, no, there's actually might be land over here. Ah, ooh, okay, we hit the shore. I'm gonna try not to run into the shore. Uh, ugh. Sure, we docked. Why not? Good enough. Let me just kick my boat back into the water. Nope. Okay. Putting a torch here. And a torch here. So I can maybe find this if I have to run back here at night. Um, actually, you know what? First, I'm just gonna not light the grass on fire. That would be a horrible idea. Yeah, <laughs> let's make sure to left click, not right click. I don't want to be on fire. Fire's bad. Get that out of my hotbar, in fact. There's no reason for me to have that in my hotbar. Yes, I'm building another shack. It's going to look like crap, and it's going to have a dirt floor. And no windows. But I don't care. This is a preemptive measure. Simply because I know I'm not going to be able to get back home in a day. Because it took me half a day to run across the land. And I'm assuming that it is about three-fourths of the day gone. So, because of that, I see pumpkins. Ooh, I'm going to go harvest some pumpkins. Not that they really do me any good since they're not really a food source. It's just, I like pumpkins, and I can grow them in my farm, which I should probably harvest when I get back home. I'm gonna put a torch there, 
And a torch there. And since I've got wood, I'm going to make a crafting bench. And I'm going to plunk that in the corner. And I don't need a crafting bench for this, but I'm going to use it anyways because I'm here. I'm going to make a pair of shears. And I'm going to make a door. Because doors are good. I'm going to follow my rule and put a piece of cobble under the door. Because, again, you don't want your mother walking into your house if a creeper blows your door off. And I'm going to go shear these sheep. Uh, I've still got a little bit of time left. Yeah, I got maybe about five minutes before the sun starts going down. Maybe a little less. I know it's supposed to be a ten minute day-night cycle, but it's basically a... Oh, that's right, i got to shear the sheep. Right click, don't left click. I've never used shears before. Honestly, this is the first time I've used shears. Ever. I usually just kill the sheep. Or punch them when you could punch them. You can't punch them anymore, so I like keep forgetting to ever make shears. So I just end up going out in the wilderness. And the one time I do remember to make shears, I forget to bring them and I don't find any sheep. There's another one around here someplace. Okay, so we have a beachhead on a new faraway land. The land of whatever the heck this is. Let's get some altitude to see if we can see anything. We should have oh, generating more new chunks. That's probably a good thing. That was a slow generate. Maybe it generated something interesting. Like a hilltop with more sheep. Ah, this is the most interesting thing ever. At least it's relatively flat. I can see my house from miles. More sheep. Grasslands everywhere. More sheep. Some water. Some dirt. The more hills and grasslands. Coming from a land full of trees, this is kind of a refreshing change of scenery. Oh, and another swamp biome. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, and the sun's starting to go down. But anyways, like I was saying before, it's supposed to be a 10-minute day-night cycle, but that does not take an effect for the about a minute and 30 seconds where you get sunrise and sunset. So it's a 10-minute day, and then a minute and 30 of sunset, and then I believe like a 7-minute night. I'm in a minute and 30 of sunrise, and then a 10 minute day. That's a cave. How you doing, cave? Okay, it's dark. I've got enough wool to make a bed. In fact, I've got a surplus of wool. I'm going to shear these two other sheep. I know sleeping here will reset my spawn point, but I'm not too incredibly worried about that. Uh, since I know the compass will continue to point towards where the original spawn point of the map is. Plus, I know basically the way things go is to get back into the ocean and head that way. And I'll hit the land, and then I can probably find my way back from there. So I'm not abandoning my house. Oh, crap, I'm going to run now. I'm not abandoning my house, but I'm basically just changing locations temporarily because... Oh, there's coal down there. That's good to know. There's a spider behind me, isn't there? Now, why do I keep stopping to check behind me when I should be running to get to safety? There's no need to look behind you if you're already inside someplace safe. You had to decide the door. The whole getting inside someplace safe thing means you're inside someplace safe. Yes, I, okay, I, I know I lied. I said I was going to have a dirt floor. I lied. I lied. I lied horribly. I can't stand dirt floors. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm changing it out for something that's not dirt. Again, this, this serves absolutely no purpose other than aesthetics. I just, I just refuse to spend the night sleeping on a bed in a dirt floored house. There. Got it. Uh, I'm gonna make a bed. And before I run out of cobblestone, I'm actually going to make at least one furnace. Because again, like, I don't really see myself spending too much time here. Uh, chest, in case I find something valuable. And there doesn't really seem to be any trees around here, so I'm gonna have to use my wood very carefully. But yeah, okay, so that's going to go here, and that's going to go here, and my bed's going to go someplace not up against the wall. So that should do nicely. I'm going to clutch my sword, and I'm going to hope nothing spawns. So here goes. 
First night in a new house in the middle of a plains biome. Oh, look at that. It worked. Totally. There, I'm gonna run! That's a burning skeleton. There's a spider over there. There's also a creeper. Oh, and an enderman. Oh, that's lovely. I wonder if I piss it off. It'll actually not run away this time. No, it's, it's going away. Bastard. Of course. Why do they always run now? I don't get that. That's like the dumbest thing ever. Like, I want to fight an Enderman. I've got enough armor where I might actually be able to do it. Come on, Creeper. Come on, Creeper. Come on, Creeper. Nope. Nope. That's right. Like a pro. Okay, well, so since I didn't really see anything that way, let's follow the coastline. Ah, oh, there's just sheep everywhere. I guess my new house might have a carpet instead of cobblestone. And I know my main house will definitely have a carpet now. It's just a question of what color carpet. I should probably be picking these red flowers too while I'm at it. Hello, ridiculous amounts of sheep. How are you doing? Yeah, I actually have shears now. I don't have to murder any of you. You should be very thankful I remembered to bring along iron. Oh, I'm gonna get some of these flowers. Get some red carpet. I like red carpets. Especially if there's a pattern in it. If you can get some red and some black wool, you can make some nice patterns in your carpet. Interior decorating 101 from sunset here. Always have a patterned carpet. Don't just put one color carpets because those are boring. And lazy. Oh, I was following the coastline. That's oh, I'm going this way. Alright then. I got eight flowers and a ridiculous amount of wool. I lied, I'm gonna murder you. No, or not. Fine, run away. Oh, there's no reason for me to chase you. Oh, it's just Grassland City over here, isn't it? Ah, altitude. Ah, up the hill, thank you. Okay, so I could go into one of those caves and get some coal. It doesn't really serve me much purpose other than I would have coal. Which I may end up doing because I was thinking about trying to burn wood to cook stuff. Seems like I don't see any trees, which means that's probably a really bad idea. I'm not really seeing anything. It's just a big plains biome on the other side of a giant ocean. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I like the fact that the biomes have actually been increased in size. Because, I mean, nothing made me eye twitch more on the old terrain generators than you would walk into a desert and then three seconds later you would walk out of the desert into a snow biome. Because that totally makes sense. The biomes are bigger now. It actually feels like you're crossing terrain and not just, oh, this is a nifty, like, little change. Isn't this a scenic, wonderful, little tiny thing? Like the ocean. That was an actual ocean. You had to cross it in a boat. Because trying to swim that would be ridiculous. There's a bunch of pigs over there. I'm probably going to murder these pigs. I apologize if you're getting tired of me murdering animals. But... I'm going to murder these animals. Oh my god, can I eat the pig and not the grass, please? Thank you. I just want to murder the animals. How hard is it to murder the animals? Thank you. Oh, don't give me any pork. That's fine. Why are you running? Oh yeah, right. The whole murder thing. I forgot about that. Good lord, there are pickles everywhere. Okay, there's probably no need for me to murder any more pickles, but I'm going to murder one more anyway. Ow, come back! Let me hit the pig instead of the grass, please! Just that I'm murdering another one, I don't even care anymore. You're in my way, I'm going to murder you too. Oh my god! Ah! Now I know where I need to go if I ever need to come back and get ridiculous amounts of farm animals. Just cross the ocean and end up in the plains biome. Okay, well, see, now here we're getting something that's not a plains biome. Let's see what this is. There's a little lake. No clay, unfortunately. I don't think so, anyways. No, it's all rock. I think I'm actually okay on clay. I don't need a ridiculous amount of it anymore. That, that last bit that I got in the river bottom should be enough for me to finish my fireplace. Uh, cliff. Not really interested in cliffs. Usually nothing up there that's good, anyways. 
And I've hit another ocean-y thing. Come on, generate out, please. Yeah, okay, let's go this way. I like wandering around here, I do. Like, it, it places to wander. Like, there's no trees, which, whoa, that's a big thing. One flower on top. But, like, places with trees, your line of sight's just absolutely so short, you can't see anything. At least out here. <gasps> trees! Oh, good, so we didn't get stuck over here. I'm not screwed completely. Like I was saying, when you can't see anything, like, look, I can only see so far through the trees, but, like, I can see for frick ever. Like, in the plains biome. Too bad there's actually nothing in the plains biome. Like, I was really hoping to be able to see an NPC village or something. Now, I can get vines if I shear them, right? I might do that while I'm here. Awesome! Oh, I don't want any leaf blocks. I want some vines. Because I want vines on the side of my house. Yeah, I know, I know people don't like vines. It's true, they do get everywhere and they grow on everything. But you know what? I want vines on my house, damn it. There. Grab a viney bit. Sure. I'll grab some leaves, too. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's stop getting distracted by vines and let's keep moving. Oh, I can't see anything through this swamp biome. I'm going to get on top of this hill and see if I can't see anything. If not, I'm going to start heading back towards the shack, and I'm going to go down that other coastline. Uh, pigs! More pigs! A form of a ravine that doesn't go very deep, and then an ocean over here. I think that's really about all that's going to be this way. Yeah. That's an ocean. Okay, so I'm going to start heading back this way. I should probably eat something. No reason for any of that to be in my hot bar. It's fine. I'll eat a pork chop. Dom, dom, dom. Those look like sheared sheep, which means I'm heading the right direction. That's one thing that I noticed. Even though it spawns sheep everywhere and seems to despawn sheep as well, if you shear a sheep or alter an animal in any way by, like, punching it, that's when it won't despawn. Oh, a zombie died over here. Like, if you shear a sheep, that sheared sheep just will stay around forever. So, unless you want just ridiculous amounts of sheared sheep running around, you should probably murder them off. I'm assuming it's over this way. Which way is the sun? Okay, so the sun's setting over here. The shack should be someplace over this way. Oh, oh there it is. Found it! That's a hole. Doesn't seem to go very far. No. That's just a tiny little cave. I mean, I don't even know why I'm cave diving over here, really. I've got a nice mine set up at my house. It's just a matter of me spending the time to, you know, strip mine for a couple hours to find the diamonds I've been searching for forever. But I'd rather find them in a fun way as opposed to, like, just mindlessly strip mining them. I'd rather fall down a cave and find them rather than, you know, just do it mindlessly. Anyway, so I'm going to mine these pumpkins out. Again, they serve no practical purpose whatsoever. Aside from, I guess, if you're hunting endermen, you can stare at an enderman with a pumpkin on your head and it won't attack you. But that's kind of a pointless reason to have pumpkins, in my opinion. I mean... You know, what are you going to do? You're going to attack an, a, a, an enderman with a pumpkin on your head. That just seems like a silly idea. Oh, man. So that's basically where the swamp biome is, right over there. And that's... This is the end of everything. Went all the way across this ocean, and I only found... Sheep. And some pigs. Well, that's a disappointment. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This map is just devoid of interesting stuff. I'm gonna go over this way. Just follow the coastline just to be sure. I've got a little bit of daylight left. I'm not too worried about it. Maybe there's something I missed over here. I'll run. Why not? I not like I need to really worry about food. I did bring quite a bit with me. And I've got the ability to cook more if I need to, thanks to all those pickles. 
sheep and then it's just kind of an ocean again. I mean, it's a cool place. Like, the terrain is nice. Like, if I had found this and it was near spawn, I would totally build here because I like building in plains biomes. Just the ability to see everything around me makes me happy. Anyways, so I think for next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to travel by boat back to the mainland. And I'm going to start upgrading my house aesthetically. See if I could make it prettier and more lovable to live in. Um, I'm going to pick the rest of these flowers before I head inside to go to bed. Because I do have a feeling I'm going to need quite a bit of red dye. I don't remember how many flowers I've got exactly, but a little bit more never hurts. Oh, look, now it's raining. Oh, that's the first time it's rained on this map. Oh, that's lovely. At least I don't have to worry about Endermen spawning. Because if they do, they're just going to get burnt by the rain. Anyways, so I'm going to go back to my little shack here. Um, not really much to report on other than uh, we're still playing on uh, that one server. I'll put another uh, little annotation-y slash thing in the bottom left corner down there that I can never point at because the cursor doesn't actually move. Um, other than that, I've got really nothing much else to say. Uh, we crossed the ocean. We made a little base of operations over here. I've got a ridiculous amount of wool that I'm going to carpet my main house with. And uh, next week we're going to make our main house look a lot better aesthetically. So, as always, have a good day and happy Minecrafting!